Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carmen. And if you want to improve your writing, stick around because I'll be sharing with you the nine best copywriting apps that will help you save time, energy, money, and overall just improve the performance of your writing. These are apps that you can download directly or you can actually just use them in your browser and they're going to give you inspiration, help you write, edit, and everything in between. And I want to begin with something that I actually recently found and I recommend this in my private Facebook group, inside of my courses, and it's Calmly Writer Online. So this is a minimal writing tool that essentially just gives you a blank screen. You can begin writing and there's some pretty cool effects such as focus mode where you can only view the actual sentence you're writing if you want to just focus individually line by line. There's a cool typewriter effect that makes writing really tactile and I tend to keep that on. I find it really good especially if you have headphones on. And it gives you things like where you highlight text and you can add header tags and links, things of that nature. So it isn't necessarily just for straight writing. You can actually get a pretty good amount of work done in this and there's a lot of customization. And then you can bring it over to a platform like WordPress, for example. I was always used to writing on things like Google Drive and WordPress that sometimes can be a little clunky and slow. So I like something that has no distractions. It's just really fast and I'd highly recommend using Calmly Writer online if you're interested in doing that. You can also open previously saved files, you can save them, and it's saved to your browser. So for example, if you write on your laptop and then you go write on your desktop, you actually can't get what you wrote on either or, you have to just do it on one device. So that is something to consider. And if you're writing in the evening at night, you can also switch over to dark mode, which makes the screen really easy on the eyes, but make sure that you give this tool a try because it's been a go-to for me lately and it's just been awesome. Number two is Grammarly because what comes after writing? Editing, of course. And it's not everyone's natural strength. You're bound to make errors as you write and something that I always promote to people is to write as fast as possible and just get your ideas down on paper or a computer and then edit after. And if you do that, of course, you're gonna have spelling mistakes, grammar mistakes, punctuation mistakes. You'll need to rearrange the points you make. And if you do that manually, it's gonna take a lot of time. So that's why you wanna use something like Grammarly. Now this editing tool essentially can be used in a couple different ways. You can use the web app where you go to Grammarly.com. You can copy and paste in your copy and then it'll show you everything you need to change. Or what I recommend is you actually go download the Google Chrome extension and then that will integrate with Google Drive, WordPress, whatever you're using. And then you get real time insights and in how to fix your content and copy as you're writing it. A cool thing about Grammarly as well is that because it's powered by artificial intelligence, over time it learns how you write individually and then it starts offering you suggestions and recommendations based on exactly how you write not everybody and then that just continues to speed up everything you're doing and then that brings me to number three which is Evernote so this is a really cool Google Chrome extension and once again I do believe there's a desktop app and you can just log in directly to evernote.com but if you do anything like collecting articles taking screenshots or taking notes you absolutely need this tool. My favorite feature is taking really epic screenshots where you can add arrows and data, different colors, text and effects. I think it's one of the best ways to take screenshots, especially if you're adding nice images and step-by-step -step instructions to content or copy, which makes it a lot more practical and high quality. It's super easy to use as well. All you do with the Google Chrome extension is click the top right icon on your browser. It prompts a little window where you can do things such as snipping an article, uh, doing a full page screenshot, you can bookmark. You can do a drag and drop screenshot where you then add arrows and those effects I mentioned. And you can also save them directly to your Evernote account to get at any time on evernote.com. The mobile app's really cool too. I like to use this for taking notes and doing to-do lists, reminders. So it's not just for writing copy, it's actually pretty solid just for overall productivity. And it's available on both Android and iOS. Number four is Rhyme Zone because sometimes when you're writing copy, you need extra personality, some flair, some fun with the words you use. And if you're like me and you tend to repeat a lot of the things you do, it's great to use something like Rhyme Zone where you can enter a word and you get rhymes, synonyms, descriptive phrases, alternatives for any word. And this helps spice up your copy and make sure that it isn't too linear. Simply just type in a word and select an option from the drop down menu on the right and then it'll automatically search for the options you chose and give you the results. It's as easy as that. So once again, I recommend using this to avoid being repetitive in your copy and just finding new interesting words and phrases to use. And that brings me to number five, which is Canva, because what goes hand in hand with copy and that's images and graphics. You need lots of visuals to accompany it just to make points more emphasized, but also to add that visual relief where it's not just huge blocks of text. 
And don't worry if you're not the best graphic designer because Canva actually gives you tons of layouts and templates that allow you to instantly add really good professional graphics to anything you're writing. To begin, just go sign up for a free account, click create new and search for a template like book cover or infographic, anything you want, and then choose a template from the left sidebar. From there, really all you have to do is fill it out with images and text, graphics from the left sidebar. And you can also upgrade to Canva Pro if you wanna download more options and high quality icons. Number six is Wave Apps because you have bills to pay, clients to invoice, and expenses to go over. And that's why an accounting software is amazing for copywriters. I think that if you're a freelancer or you run an agency, you definitely need some good accounting for managing your invoices, payments, expenses, and so on. You wanna stay really organized when it comes to your finances. Wave is a free accounting platform that I recommend all copywriters should give a shot. And you can just sign up for a free account right from the homepage. Go through the setup wizard to determine the best options for your account. And then make sure to complete the launch pad on the dashboard to get your account in perfect standing to begin using. It'll ask you to do things like importing data, managing your transactions and things of that nature. And then your account is all good to go. You can invoice clients, manage your finances, and be a lot better with your copywriting business in the accounting sense. Number seven is HubSpot. So now if you're running a copywriting business in particular, whether it's freelance or an agency, you definitely need some kind of CRM to manage your contacts, leads, and pipeline. And that's where HubSpot comes in the picture because they actually offer a completely free CRM that I've been personally using for many years. And if you do need more advanced settings and limits, the paid plans are awesome investments if you wanna put a little bit of money into this side of your business. And it's accessible right through their web app and mobile app. And you can just add your contacts firstly by clicking contacts under the main menu and you can do it manually or you can import a CSV file to of course speed up this if you have a lot of people that need to put into the CRM. If you click a contact you'll see all of their personal information and the activity tab highlights all the communication you've had with that individual person and I also like putting follow-ups under the tasks tab where I can follow up with leads if I've messaged them and they haven't responded and overall, you can just use it to keep in touch with leads, nurture relationships, and also do outreach to drive more pipeline and opportunities. Number eight is WebFX Idea Generator because a huge part of content and copywriting is coming up with new blog post ideas, copywriting ideas, headline ideas, you name it. It's a lot easier said than done and quite time consuming. And of course, we all get that pesky writer's block sometimes. So this is where WebFX Idea Generator comes into the picture because it gives you pretty much any blog post idea you want by entering in a keyword into the search bar and clicking, give me an idea. It'll give you a topic idea to run with and you can either click Google this idea to see the search results and get more inspiration or next idea for more ideas for your next blog post. And last but not least is Uber Suggest by Neil Patel. This is a free and paid SEO suite tool. Now, if you're doing content writing in particular, and some forms of copywriting, you do need search engine optimization and need to be optimized for very particular keywords so you can place yourself in front of a particular audience which leads to higher conversions as they should be your ideal audience or ideal customer profile. First, I recommend using Uber Suggest for content and keyword research. All you have to do is enter a search term into the search bar on the homepage and click the search button. It'll give you volume and other metrics for the keyword along with suggestions for other similar search terms. And then what you can do as well is start looking at the content that's ranking for all these keywords to get further inspiration about how you can make similar content even a bit better and actually outrank them. But overall in copywriting, you need to definitely work smarter, not harder. And with all the tech and apps available today, you should definitely have a nice little tool stack that speeds up your writing, your editing, invoicing, accounting, prospecting, and everything in between. And if you use a combination of the copywriting apps I shared today, you'll pretty much achieve all of those things in one. And I always recommend coming up with your own tool stack. So let me know in the comments what kind of tools you use to speed up your copywriting process. But if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.